So like I was saying, we missed some fun stuff over the weekend. The Fire Festival, this was all over Twitter. The Luxury Festival, four to $12,000 per ticket. People get there. There's no food. There's no place to stay. It looks like a disaster relief area. <laughs> they apologized. They said, Billy McFarland, Billy McFarland, the organizer said, they may have been a little naive. What do you think? <sighs> Fire Festival. Okay. Well, the funniest thing is that it's endorsed by Ja Rule. And... I actually do not blame Ja Rule at all for any of this. I mean, I actually blame the people who paid supposedly amounts of 10000 12000 I heard some pay for VIP treatment, like 20000 I got to blame them. I got to blame them. Listen, you got to be an idiot and not understand Coachella. That's the new thing that's big and people love these festivals. And like, like those things have completely replaced like a summer jam type of thing where you can not only see just rap acts, you can see everybody. But if you're going to plunk down that much money on a new festival in the fucking Caribbean and expect like motherfucking like treatment like you're your chic of Dubai. Uh, come on, man. I can't feel bad for you, man. You have retired Salute rapper to money. That's would you spend actually, retired rapper money on I, this? <laughs> no, I would not. Would you spend your first complex check on it, nigga? No. I don't even know if my first complex check is enough to get me to the fire festival. <laughs> oh, shit. But I agree <laughs> with Ak. I don't feel bad. <laughs> I don't feel bad at all. I want to shout out to all of my Brooklyn scammers. Woo -woo! Anytime you can scam rich white people. Is it a scam or a finesse? Or is it the same? Out of their it seems money. Seems like scam. Well, you need finesse to scam. Mm. So it's a it's a scam finesse. It's a finesse scam. I'm not mad at it. I saw the, the, the tents. I saw the dirty <laughs> sand. I don't even know what would make these white people want to go there. I'm not mad at Ja Rule. Ja Rule may put it on me. Arguably one of the top 30 songs ever made in hip hop. We want me to do, bro. <laughs> hey, they're cool. I am starting a festival. We are starting a festival, the Everyday Struggle Festival, for all of the white people that attended. And we got some names. Who we got? We got Smiles and South Star. We got the nigga with the mask from Nelly's group. What's his name? That's not Murphy Lee, right? No. Shout out to Murphy Lee. Murphy Lee had bars. Okay. The nigga okay. with the mask. We never knew your name. Sorry, nigga with the mask. We're Houston. Bring... Okay, okay. Who gals his eye out, right? Mims we getting. Mims I like. K7. She ain't got to like do a, do a fucking like full performance. And Jay Hood. The nigga who did Tipsy. I'm rolling. That's Jay Quan. Oh, Jay Quan. My bad. My bad. <laughs> no, oh, just take both. Well, <laughs> hey, Jay Hood and Jay Quan. By the way, by the way, by the way if you guys seen the flyer, I swear I Googled about half of them. Or like, you know the ones with extra small print? I don't think they exist. Like, I really Googled them. I think it was really a finesse in the way of there were people that were scheduled to perform that it looked like an artist. I don't think they really were an artist. So again, what? For Firefest? Yeah! There were some of the names I Googled because I've never heard of them. Okay. He, and never, heard, were... he never heard of Bella. <laughs> Bella. Yeah, there were no, big no, artists no, no, like no. Blink-182 and Push No, no, no. Those are headliners. You know the fine so print So you think they made up the rest of the artists? There were a couple. Yeah, I couldn't find them. But now fine print is where the festivals normally make their money. Normally we're all squint, squint, squinting our eyes to see the fine print <laughs> because festivals today, as academics and I were talking about earlier, though, that's the move. Everybody wants to do a festival, whether it's fucking Coachella, uh, Rock the Bells used to be dope, but that's over with. We don't have, uh, they do something on Governor's Island every year. There's a bunch of festivals now, not really concerts are in effect. So white people, be careful. Uh, festivals are popping now. We know it's a grand time, but you want to be careful spending your money with rappers. Hey, from, from what I heard, the people that went to this fire festival, they said they, they paid for an adventure. They got a fucking adventure, okay? <laughs> it's like, it's, they got an adventure. Now got you're on Survivor, yeah. okay? Now you're Lost. on motherfucking Hunger Games Lost. Okay, uh, they call it Lord wild. of the Flies. Now you're on that, okay? Make it out. Lord of the Flies, I'm very impressed. Good and, and the white people, I saw they was posting pictures of bologna sandwiches or something like Bread that. Bread and cheese, what's the problem? White well, bread, not even I, wheat bread, just when straight I white. When I spent the night in, in jail uh, about a year ago, I learned that budget cutbacks had made them <laughs> not put cheese on the bologna sandwiches, and I was pretty disappointed by it. Mm. So I understand how they feel. All right, well, guys, they're actually doing the festival again next year. Let's <laughs> Everyone who hey. spent money this year gets to go for free. That's the good news. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Y'all don't got to cut Kylie Jenner no check next year. <laughs> no more Bella Hadid or whatever. Cut academics a check, okay? Let me get in on the finesse. I'm to, jigging to, the to finesse eat, tonight. To eat bologna. <laughs> cut, <laughs> cut academics a check. <laughs>